Here's Jason Gillespie. Now then, what has Kevin Peterson got in his locker? It's good play. It's a nice measured stroke from Kevin Peterson. Uh, it's a good move forward into that stroke. And that'll run away quickly as well. Runs for Peterson. Gillespie just straying a little bit too straight. 50 partnership. And the very first 50 partnership of the day, would you believe? Now that's quick. And that's out. Brilliantly bowled from Brett Lee, who has moved into Yorker bouncer mode and proved far too good for Geraint Jones. Yes, very well bowled. Be interesting to see where that hit uh, on the bat, actually. He came screaming in to Brett Lee. He's got a bit of reverse swing going here. And uh, he's maintained some control. Made the batsman play. Big blow. Now 79 for six. Big appeal down the leg side, the finger goes up, what a way to finish for Australia. Brett Lee, rapid delivery, don't know whether it was an edge or a glove. He's uh, got him right back on the stumps, little flick, and he's knocked the stumps back anyhow. Wow, what a day. There's the king. There's the scorecard. Those are the bowling figures. And here are the two players of the day. What's the secret at bowling at this ground? We, we talk a lot about the slope, but uh, what's your theory on this ground? Um, ask Glenn. Yeah, it was, uh, the wicket was pretty much suited to my style of bowling today. Uh, hitting a, a length, probably a little bit fuller than my normal length, and coming down the slope, so uh, I enjoyed bowling out there. It's not a ground I, I really enjoy bowling on, I must admit, I think if I was to be, to be honest, but uh, I've always seemed to get in wickets here. Um, but I think if I think in, on any wicket, it doesn't matter what, what wicket you play on, a flat one or a, a wicket that does a bit, if you put the ball in a good area more times, more times than enough, you will get, you'll get your rewards and you get wickets. Lords for your 500th wicket, couldn't get any better than that. No, I couldn't have written, scripted it any better, so uh, you know, I still had to take it here. Uh, I think this morning at breakfast was the first time I really got a few uh, butterflies sort of thinking about it. And uh, you know, to, to bowl here on you know, day one when you win the toss and bats, probably not ideal, but uh, things are looking pretty good now. If ever there was a day for England to prove they had a bit of ticker, as the Australians might say, it was this day. 98 runs behind, but with one thing in their favour, Kevin Peterson on strike. There is no orthodox third man. They've opted for the man on the bench at point. And uh, it's cost four runs. That's a great reflex catch. I suppose a little bit of good fortune attached to it for Matthew Hayden, but he is a good slipper. And uh, although he didn't get it cleanly the first time, it was a terrific effort to have his hand in the position in any case. And they were pleased to see the back of Hoggard because he can be a nuisance. A nuisance no longer, though. Gone for none, 101 for eight. Very good strike. A big hit. Well, this is the most magnificent stroke. The first one was a bit of a baseball hit, but this one, technically perfect. Straight as a die. Wonderful 
shot. 50 up for Peterson. Half century in his debut test match. He's got all the talent in the world, Kevin Peterson. The selectors were wrong not to pick him against Bangladesh. They're right to pick him now. Say goodnight. Might even be say goodbye. Great catch. Superb athletic fielding. And uh, it's done for Peterson, but what a good innings. The most magnificent catch from Damien Martin. Sprinting round from deep mid wicket, full length dive, holding himself inside the rope, bringing an end to a wonderful debut innings from Kevin Peterson. 57 on 122 for 9.